All right. Hey guys, uh, this is going to be the fourth and final uh, part of my series on backpacking camera gear. This portion will be about bags, how to carry a camera, and other accessories. So straps, uh, mounts, that kind of thing, um, and any other accessories that I might have. <laughs> um, so again, I'm just going to jump right into it and start talking about stuff. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is bags and camera carry. Um, this has been something for me that I'm like, where do you carry your camera? Do you put it in the back? Do you put it on your hip? Do you put it on your shoulder? Do you just carry it with a strap? Like, what do you do with your camera while you're hiking? And um, way back when I actually had an old backpack that I rigged some straps to and would just kind of like clip my camera right to the front. And I really liked that because I had immediate access to my camera. I didn't have to pull the bag around and you know unzip anything and, and fiddle with it. It was just immediately right there. And then when it's on your chest, it kind of distributes the weight evenly and you don't really feel like you're carrying an extra two and a half pounds of stuff uh, in addition to, you know, your 20 or 30 pounds in the bag. Um, so jumping right in, my current setup is this Dyneema bag that I showed in the first part of this series. It's just a basic roll top bag that's waterproof. This is made of Dyneema um, and it's got some loops on the back and this is what clips into the bag. So for instance, to show you how that would work, you have these straps on the front with this cordage that's attached to either, you can attach them to your load lifters up here that I've used on my Osprey Exos. Um, but somewhere up top, you want this, you don't want this to be on your strap because if it's on your strap, it's gonna pull extra weight here and that's gonna cause pain on your shoulders. So I try to put it up top. So my um, Z-Packs has these extra hooks that were up here for um, other accessories. So I tied right into that. So this is tied into, this is actually tied into the frame of the bag up top so none of the weight is distributed onto the shoulders it's distributed through the whole frame of the bag and then it kind of loops through the strap here there's just a loop so it just kind of keeps it a little bit more steady and on the bottom here there's this teeny tiny hook and this is made by dutchware and this is actually for a tarp and the cool thing with this is that you can adjust this little thing. So you pull the cord through. I don't know if you can see that. I'll, I'll try to get a better shot of this. You pull the cord through and then you tie a little loop on the end and you pull it tight and that's what holds it. And you're not holding a ton of weight on it. So once you set this, you can kind of forget it and then what you do is you take the loop of the strap on the back of the bag and you hook it through and now your bag is being carried on the front of your backpack. So I have the backpack on now. Let me free this up. So you take one hook and you hook it on here. And then the other one, hook it on the other side. I'm sorry if this is causing any crinkling noises in the microphone. And then so now the camera bag is right here on the front of your bag, right where it's easy to kind of like get in here. There's just a simple snap right here on the front so you can close it and your camera is not going to fall out. So then you don't have to roll it every single time. You can just snap it. And then to keep this from kind of like bouncing, there's another little hook here 
and that just hooks into your bottom strap. And now, your bag's not gonna go anywhere. It's secured to your body. And there's even another one on this side that you would attach to this side. And that's just on a piece of real thin shot cord. So when you wanna talk about like ultra, ultra light camera carry, it doesn't get much lighter than, than this system. Um, this line here is just guy line. Again, I got this guy line from, from Dutchware. They make hammocks. Um, and this is just continuous loops of zing it attached to the back of the bag. Um, so this is kind of the way that I carry it on this bag. And then I'll show you as well on like, this is an ultralight backpack made of, you know, Dyneema and, and that kind of thing. But if you have like an Osprey style bag like this, it's also doable on this. So you have your load lifters up here on your shoulder strap. It's not tied into this lower part of the shoulder strap. It's not tied in here. It's through the top of the loop here. And then this has a loop in the end. So if you're good at sewing, you could sew this. This came looped like that. Um, and then it's just hooked through there. And this was another thing that I made. Um, this is just, again, zing it with this adjustable line lock here. And I made it with this cool little button on the end. Um, and again, this is another piece of hardware made by Dutchware. This is a uh, tarp hook, I believe. Um, so the cool thing with this hook is that the zingit will actually kind of lock in here. But I mean, you want to talk about teeny tiny hooks or teeny tiny hardware. This thing is tiny. Um, but this works the same exact way. So it's on the strap. It's fully adjustable. You can, it's even more easily adjustable because you can just pull through the line lock and it lo and it locks it and it adjusts the same exact way. So you just hook, hook the hook into the bag, not like that, like this, and it locks it in there. So then you're, you're locked in. And then same deal for the bottom. I have these on the, uh, this is like the lower strap, shoulder strap of the bag. This isn't holding any weight. This is just holding steady. This is shock cord with a teeny tiny carabiner on it. And I actually have other, other hardware that again, I got from Dutchware. That's like a, a tarp door hook where it doesn't have the carabiner. It just hooks right in. And I didn't have any of them when I set this up. So I was like, you know, I'll just use these cause it's what I had. Um, but there's tons of other little hooks. Um, if you go to Dutchware, dot com i don't think that's what it is is dutchwaregear.com um, but if you if you type in dutchware gear you'll find his website there's tons of little like hooks and hardware pieces that you can get and use to make these kinds of straps that work really really well and it's super ultra light and it's super easy to kind of hook and in and out and since again since the weight is up here towards the top of the bag you're not carrying it on the strap of your bag. So that brings me to this other accessory that I will talk about, which is the Peak Design, I think this is called the Capture Clip maybe, possibly. Um, so how this works is it actually screws and clips into your shoulder strap, and then there would be a little mount that screws to the bottom of your camera that clips in so your camera would be held on your strap. There's probably no easier way to access your camera than this. However, I want this, I want to love this, but the problem is that it's on your strap. So what ends up happening is it ends up pulling on one of your straps, whichever side you have it on. Um, I've just never found for cameras that are this big 
for this to be comfortable for a long term, like even for like a weekend backpacking trip. I've used it for like overnighters and stuff like that. And even for that, it gets kind of annoying. You kind of end up like trying to adjust it. But when you carry it in the middle, it's pulling that weight from back and above and onto the frame of the bag and down. So it's not pulling it on your straps at all. So it just carries the weight through the frame of the bag down to your hips, like the rest of the weight of the bag, rather than putting it on one point, it distributes that weight more. Um, so I found that's what kind of allows me to carry a bigger camera more easily, more comfortably. Um, you don't really even feel it aside from the fact that you kind of have this thing on your chest then. When I initially set up my camera carry, this is what I used. And these are made by Peak Design. Peak Design makes these <clears throat> little like toggle, let me see if you can see that, these little toggles. And these would attach to your camera, kind of like I have these continuous loops on here. They would attach here to the side of your camera. And then these clip right into these clips, just like that. So what I would do is attach this to your camera and attach this to your backpack. Same kind of thing. Then you can carry your, your camera or you would carry your bag. And initially you can see here, this is one of the first bags that I ever used. You have this. And so you would attach this to your chest. But as you can see, this bag is much bigger than the Dyneema bags that I made myself. But again, this is padded, it's got pockets and that kind of thing. Um, this was the first thing that I ever brought with me, but it's huge in terms of like the size of a bag. But now, I mean, you can't really fit a camera with a microphone in here either. So you'd have to take the microphone off and put it in here and that kind of thing. So it doesn't really work that way. Another bag that I really liked was this bag from Think Tank. It's a little bit smaller. It is a little bit heavier. It's a little bit more padded. Um, it came with its own kind of like strap system. So you can see all these straps hanging off the back of it and stuff like that. It came with its own strap system, which I really liked. Um, but again, it ended up being too heavy. So that brings me to a couple accessories that I made, um, which are these. These are like little teeny baby hammocks. <laughs> so you can see it's like a little teeny tiny hammock with two little continuous loops and two little teeny tiny hooks on the end. And so what this is, is a multi-purpose item. So I've made two of these and you can unsnap it like this and it becomes a pouch. So you can put whatever you want in there. My thinking was like, you put your snacks, you put your snacks in there and then you could snap it shut and then, you know, like hook this, to whatever you want, you know? And then you have like a little baggy kind of thing that you can like hook to your camera strap or hook to the bag, whatever you want it to hook to. You hook it onto the end. Maybe if I can do this, you do it like that. And now you have a wrist strap. So now you have a wrist strap in case you drop your camera you have a wrist strap and it's ultra light. This fabric that I use to make this is the same fabric that my hammock is made out of. And this is called the Cloud 71 fabric, also made by Dutchware. Another like dual purpose type thing. Um, these straps, and you could even do it with, I guess any of these straps, they all have loops at the end. So this has a loop in the end of this so I can remove this whole strap from this, from my backpack and then attach it to these 
add this in this in the middle of it and then you have you end up with like a shoulder strap so it's just another like multi-purpose kind of like day pack day hike thing so i mentioned earlier using trekking poles um with mounts these were my first pair uh i have grip tape on the side so i can't even see what the what brand they are i don't remember i ended up drilling through the top of them and putting this quarter inch stud so then you could put you know your action camera or you know a camera mount and i did both of them which you have to remove the wrist strap so then you don't have a wrist strap for it um, but these just ended up kind of getting a little bit more beat up um, just because i used them around my local area and i lived near the beach and they got some sand and stuff stuck in them so they ended up kind of getting all scuffed up but um mountain smith makes this trekking pole it's carbon fiber they only sell them in single they don't sell them in pairs so it's just one but it comes with this has a ball head attached to it that i put on it but it has a uh, quarter inch threaded bolt that comes right out of the top of it focus and you would still be able to put a wrist strap on it and just this top section is carbon fiber the bottom sections are aluminum so it's not it's light i'll say it's light but you know it's super versatile in terms of like putting an action cam on there with this ball head and then you can kind of like hold it out and do you know your like interview style uh shots if you will so that's cool that's made by mountain smith the mountain smith trekker fx light is what it is I'm not sure um i don't remember the weight of it but you can find it online so a couple other things that i have here is this guy and this is like a this is just a hand hold held like trigger thing it has the remote this remote is actually removable so you can pop the little remote out so you can like set your camera up on this like little mini tripod deal and then like program this via bluetooth to your camera and then trigger it to your camera and take pictures and videos of you know selfies and and that kind of thing i guess you know it's kind of like a selfie stick but it is big and heavy um i do have attached to it let me take this off this uh quick release this is a small quick release mount um i have other versions of this that are bigger and heavier um, but this one's pretty good it's tiny and it can fit on any quarter inch threaded mount um, so that would be good for stuff like mounting this to you can mount this to the top of your trekking pole and then if you had two of these mounts you could switch between your camera and your gopro or you know whatever if you've researched backpacking tripods and such this is a popular uh little tripod it's got this long piece of velcro so you could attach it to like a tree or the top of your trekking pole and then it has these little legs it's called the ultrapod this little guy pretty lightweight um and this is made by manfredo i don't even know where i got this but it's got these little fold out feet and it's the tiniest little tripod this would not work for something like the r6 maybe even like the m50 would be pushing it but it's more for like the ash action cam type deal you put this underneath your camera and then you have a little like prop you can prop up your camera with this little guy there's nothing to lock the feet in so it's just springs that hold it tight so i think that should do it for the accessories that i have um there's a million others of different mounts and gadgets and gizmos that you can find for your camera um you know anything with backpacking comes down to size weight and do you actually need it i hope that this four part series has been somewhat helpful to someone out in the world to make sense of how to carry your camera 
how like what kind of equipment to use and just to kind of like sift through all of the things that are out there because I've literally like scoured the internet and have like looked through B&H's like archives of gear and looked at what people have used in the past and hopefully this was a more in-depth view of like what people use and by all means if I didn't cover something like just leave me a message, leave me a comment, and I will do my best to answer it the best way that I can. Thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day. See y'all.